Krabofel is a group of scientists, humanists, educators, It's irritating that humanity has not listened to us, but they haven't. The warning bells were there already 50 years ago. The big difference is that now we truly are in the midst of the crises. We are much, much closer to potentially catastrophic outcomes. Now we have a short opportunity where everything is up in the air. We thought it was the time to now reassess to see what does science tell us today and how does the future look like the next 50 years. We have to change the story. We have to provide a plausible, coherent, consistent and also science-based and numbers-backed story that people find more attractive than business as usual. We have one scenario called too little, too late. And then the other one is where we succeed in putting all those possibilities together. We are proposing five turnarounds paid for by the 10% richest people in the world. If we put in place the five turnarounds that we talk about, the focusing on inequality, the focus on poverty, the focus on empowerment, and then food and energy as the two key resources that will keep us alive as we're faced with some of these ongoing crises, then we actually could get ourselves out of this mess. And the interesting thing with these five turnarounds is that they can be scaled from communities to cities to sectors, nations, regions, and then globally. But that's what we were looking for, like a fractal, set of fractals that escalate or percolate down from the global economic system all the way down to specific communities. We need to start with redressing, making sure that the solution is fair, is perceived as fair by a democratic majority. Unless we do so, we won't get a solution. It's critical we talk about poverty because the poorest in societies um, are the most vulnerable and face the biggest risks, as we can see with the, the flooding in Pakistan, and we can see with the food crisis in sub-Saharan Africa. It's absolutely critical that um, we use this as an opportunity to, um, to spur um, sustainable economic development. Currently, a large part of the world is materially, financially, economically insecure. And it is true when they're working, whether they're paid or unpaid, and it is true when they are not working. So a universal pension that guarantees affordable life is an essential part of this. So many women across the world, their lives are dominated by the unpaid work they do. If you want healthy, sustainable, viable societies, the importance of recognizing the contribution of women and the rights of women is absolutely essential. It is really about ensuring that our societies are sustainable, that social reproduction occurs, and it's about ensuring that the rights of half the world's population are met adequately. Women must be given the freedom to make their own life choices. In the food system, we would see a rapid change towards uh, more logistics that reduce the unnecessary food waste and food loss so that we have food security. I'm absolutely convinced that the Ukraine war will help us to accelerate the transition away from oil, coal and natural gas. So we could see an energy democracy where local sources, microgrids, local areas don't have to rely so much on the global fossil energy system. What we're facing is not an environmental crisis, 
it's a crisis of, of security, of stability, of prosperity and equity. And, and, and that's what Earth for All really brings forward. So the overall object of the latest report is basically to continue the fight. If sufficient mobilization occurs, and if the demand for major changes in economic strategy gets loud enough, then we can actually achieve a major turnaround. I'm fairly optimistic that we are going to see um, a very, very rapid transformation. But the question is, will it be fast enough? Now we need to come together and we need to share this image that a giant leap is truly possible. That comes back to a series of different structural shifts that we will have to make across the globe in order to ensure that we have truly an Earth for all.